Hi folks, it's been a while, I think, um, and I'm back to unbox a pair of shoes I bought online. Uh, okay, I don't know, I feel so unco doing this one. Um, actually, a little, uh, I'll go through a little story as I unbox this. So I ordered this uh, from Gucci Online. This is how it came. So there's a pull tab thing here. And um, I actually saw these shoes in Hawaii. I noticed them in Hawaii like September last year. Mm. I see green. Ugh. I see green. So this is they're on their packaging. It's like a, the Baroque kind of pattern. And I've kind of just been um, eyeing them for like five month, five six months now. And it's funny, I went into Gucci for fun, and then I tried these on for fun. I didn't expect to like them, but I tried them, and I was quite surprised as to what. Uh, yeah, I was quite surprised that I liked them. And I'll explain why I like them once they're open. Once it's open. This is what it looks like inside. There's a green pattern again. Do this. It's the best way to open this. I don't know. I feel like I should cut the tape here. So I put this on my vision board because I kept thinking about them and I'm, I was actually looking for shoes that were cheaper that kind of fulfilled the same requirements but could not surprisingly so i'm usually not a fan of gucci but this i guess is a bit more classic uh in their style so i bought it it's not like the garish gucci I'll share with you what it looks like. Ta -da! So if you buy, go in store, there's their shopping bags and their boxes now. I like this. So this is what it looks like inside. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Now we can look at it together. All right. So I've got a Gucci shopping. Whoa! Whoa! Damn, this is bigger than I expected it to be. And I think I expected a, like a portrait Gucci bag in this uh, color and pattern. I did not expect this massive bag. Wow, it's a massive, uh, I guess, cottony tote bag uh, with kind of the astrological signs on it. What's this? Oh, this is really big. Um, Leo, Cancer, Virgo, and there's, there's some other constellations on it. Uh, the side has stars, but it's less blue. Damn, this is really big. <laughs> I think this is, I feel like this is about 50 centimeters across as the base. So I was looking, kind of looking forward to having this. Uh, has Gucci.com on the inside. Uh, I think they're alternative uh, canvas bag that you get by buying online um, is different. It's like the alternative to receiving a paper shopping bag when you buy in store. And it was like, you know, your typical um, creamy cotton with um, a, like a little Gucci logo with kind of flourishes on the inside. So this is a different option that I didn't expect. <laughs> okay. it's. Um, I mean, it's it's sewn together in a very basic way, um, but oh, so I'm kind of stuck on this because I expected it to be smaller, and I'm like, how will I use this because it's so big? Anyway, let's move let's move on because this video is not about this bag. Um, okay, 
What have we got? So we got some stuffing. Brown paper stuffing. And then behind it is just more of the green. And then we got the box. It's a bit weighty. And then nothing else. Cool. So let me just move this. So the stores usually had the green um, not long ago. And there's this little envelope. Ooh, what's inside? So I think this is the order. The order packing list thingy. And then we've got a Gucci perfume. It's not a postcard, it's just a card with uh, perfume samples on the back. So I think you just peel, there's a little plastic film here, you peel it and you can smell it. They used to have this in magazines long, long time ago. So it's promoting Gucci Guilty for men and women. And then I think this is the sticker if I wanted to return it. Okay, so I, so you see this here, this I made room on my shoe rack for these shoes for a while and it just wasn't the right time for me to get it and then after having lots of conversations about it with my husband he agreed to uh, click buy on the website for me so this is kind of a gift from me to myself but also from him to me um, but yeah I wanted to point this out because if you want to have something in your life, you really need to make room for it. So it's going to go somewhere on my shoe rack. It's just making room, but it might not necessarily live there. But you got to keep thinking about it if you really want to. All right, let's go on with the unboxing. So the ribbon is navy with Gucci on it. Gucci shoes. So there's some product booklets, I guess. And then so each shoe has come in its own bag. So it's like a canvasy bag. Oh, so if I didn't get the blue bag, I would have got a bag with this logo on it. Uh, according to the website, which which is nice as well, and it's more subtle. The bag is massive! I still can't believe it. Okay, so black ribbon. Alright, let's look at this shoe. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Wow, this stuffing is nice. It's not like crunchy paper, it's like soft tissue. Alright, let's get them both out. So, yeah, I was just, I've, I've been looking for like nice, comfortable sandals for a long time. And then, you know, like I wasn't that interested in Gucci. So I tried these on for fun in Hawaii, in Honolulu. And I didn't expect to like them. So they're kind of like a, oh, I don't know what color you call this. It's not a pure white. It's like a very, oh, I don't know. It's like an extremely light beige, uh, beige uh, with, but it's got kind of like subtle, it's cool and warm at the same time. So there's a tag on it. It's just, I think this is just a product detail. No, not even. It's just a Gucci tag. So I need to leave this on if I want to return it. Hopefully I don't. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. It's the right size, yes. This is Gucci underneath and there's a G, the Gigi here. Um, 
so yeah it's it's not off white it's like extremely light beige but uh they call it white but it's it's not a pure white which i think is good for my skin tone my skin tone is neutral to slightly warm undertone so this works for me and um this is a really good heel height for me i find that shoes that are too flat they get uncomfortable and then i'm wearing like high heels less and less so i think this is a really good height uh, so there's some patent chevron pattern there uh, pretty sure it's all leather including the sole and uh, the the hardware is like a, a brassy color and what's beautiful about this shoe and the, the more I studied it the more I appreciated it this shoe the entire strap piece is actually cut from one piece of leather so it only opens here for the buckle and there's Gucci on the buckle as well on the top but yeah this whole piece is actually one piece of leather so I was looking and I'm like why is it uh, aesthetically pleasing to me and it's because there's no like um, so there's stitching on the very edge to sew the inside and the outside together but there's no stitching that breaks up the strap line so I guess in a way that would be more expensive to make because this is actually one whole piece of leather and they've just cut out the shape of the strap as opposed to having like this individual strap here individual strap here that would be cheaper to make um, and I also noticed that when I tried it on it was quite comfortable not only because of the heel height but because where the heel sits here there's a there, there's a groove for your foot foot that's naturally not flat at the bottom your heel is naturally curved so they've actually made a bed and it sits nestled in this little groove here and I looked at other shoes like designer shoes as well as just you know your normal high street shoes and I'm pretty sure no other shoe that I found has this groove which uh, adds to the level of comfort um, so besides the uh, like a really good heel height for me and this groove and this aesthetically pleasing no you know um uh like cuts in the the whole strap um let's see what else do i like uh, i like the brass um it's not too gold it's like because it's a bit dull not too shiny gold which is great and i was comparing this silhouette to like um a chanel sandal and like a chanel sandal you might find one that has a cc logo and I felt that that wasn't as elegant as the GG. So while it is Gucci, I actually appreciate this Gucci logo uh, from a design standpoint. So it feels more elegant, uh, more curves and like it, it's wide and it's slim and it's not just like the solid CC from my Gucci logo. So um, yeah, like to me, I really appreciate that. Uh, what else was there? Are the that was the main things that drew me to it. The more I studied it, the more I really appreciate this design. And I think if you go back like um, quite a few decades, um, the Gucci are known for designing great shoes, I believe. And I'm starting to see that. So it's cool to see, you know, stuff that isn't so childish or too modern. Like I really appreciate like the good classics um so i pay quite a bit for these considering they're sandals and i know that well i plan to wear them a lot even though <laughs> summer's just over in melbourne um my plan is to wear these for years because it's um, a good shape good cut good silhouette uh, so i hope they'll last me for years to come and be kind of like a timeless addition to my wardrobe so here's the other side actually i should check to make sure it's okay but yeah it, it looks all right there's nothing obviously off so from a quality standpoint yeah it's pretty pretty good so i'm glad i don't have to return it so i'll try it on um i'll see if i can film a clip and insert it so you can have a quick look also 
Um, I think my only concern is, even though this is like kind of cushy, there's thread going through um, the, what is this, the insole, <laughs> where the foot goes. So my only concern about this over time is that the colour, uh, the thread, the white thread will discolour, right? But considering like the good height, the bed of the heel, everything, like I can live with that. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, I wanted to capture this um, and share why I bought these shoes and um, I'll link it below. There's still some sizes left. I know there were some on Farfetch and my trees and stuff but the size is kept running keep running out so i bought these from gucci.com.au or slash au direct and they don't have all the sizes anymore and it's all only available at their warehouse you can't find it uh in their shops in australia um you might still find these uh in stores in overseas i, I, I don't know but have a look get the product code have a search if it's something you're interested in but yeah i like it's really interesting because you know if you just glance at it it's like oh yeah another pair of sandals but there i feel like there's quite a lot of thought that has gone into these actually so i'm just remembering something else uh, apparently my husband wrote a message in this order. I'm like, where is this message? <laughs> is it here? Hmm? It is not on the packing list. Not in the envelope. Okay, what's going on? Not the witches, the promo card. I doubt the message is in the booklet. Is it in the big box? Ah, oh, this is anticlimactic. Hold on, hold on. random thought I think I might have preferred the the tote bag that came with this logo okay I've got no special message well maybe I'll do a, an, an edit to let you know what the message should have been but yeah pretty sure it's missing oh well <laughs> anyways thanks for joining me on this video I'll see you next time. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed the <laughs> weird unboxing experience with me. Follow me for more videos on fashion and uh, whatever random adventures I get up to. Um, yeah, let me know. What, what do you think of the shoes? Um, they're pretty good, huh? <laughs>